Raise your hand if you ever get really weird messages. Now this guy and I have been messaging back and forth for a bit. And then he says, what could be funnels things about your city? And I thought to myself, this dude is trying to find out where I live. So I didn't respond at first. But he's persistent. He says, hi, how are you doing today? And then again, hey. And finally I say, hi. And he says, how are you doing? It has been a while. I say, I'm good. Been distracted by life a bit. LOL, how are you? He says, I'm good as well. What has been distracting you? Are you going true negative things you don't understand? So I tell him all about my life, right? He says, all right, I can understand you. You just have to butt yourself together, okay? I said, yeah, I know. He said, how about your kids? Hope they are all doing good. I said, yep, they're good and happy. How are your kids doing? He says, they're good as well, getting ready for their resumption. I don't know what that means. What does resumption mean in this case? Then he gets creepy-ish, asking me more questions about my kids. Then he says, that's cool. Well, I would like to be a friend. If that's okay, we could probably send each other emails and discuss business ideas, because I barely come on here. I'm wondering what kind of business ideas, and he says, any idea you can come up with that can be benefit to both of us. I say, what kind of business could benefit both of us? He says, don't you have any idea of an online business that can benefit people from your city? I say we could sell acorns. He says, wow, that's a good business, if at all, lol. Hope Will can benefit from that. I said, like, there are tons of acorns in the area. I could collect them and repurpose them, like make necklaces with them or squirrel traps or adult toys. He said, that's great. That's a real business. Have you been doing that for long? I said, yeah, my parents had me collecting acorns my whole life and helping me earn my keep as a kid so that they would buy me more Captain Crunch cereal. Oops, awkward silence. He said, wow, that's cool. Let me have your email so we will can talk more about that true emailing ourselves once in a while, okay? And I see you are not that active on this app, right? I ignore him for a bit. Are you there? I finally say, I got distracted. What's your angle? Are you a scammer? He says, no, I'm not. I'm a real person and I'm for real. I said, being real doesn't mean you aren't trying to trick me somehow. No one wants my email unless they're trying to get my money. I never should have told you about my acorn business. You just want to take all the credit, don't you? He said, I'm not tricking you or trying to get your money. I'm a responsible man that has a family. I'm just asking if you email so we can communicate and also get to know more about ourselves and share more ideas and be good friends, etc. Part of me wants to keep messaging him to see how this all plays out, but uh, I think I might be done from here. What would you do? The conversation continues. So he was asking me about a job that I do on the side, and then I asked him, Do you do anything to earn money on the side? Sure I do. What do you do? I'm a retired military, used to work for the state, now I just do real estate, buying of lands and property, developing them. Have you ever bought a haunted house? No, I have not, but if I get the opportunity, I will, and if it's on good location. There was a lull in our conversation for a while. Then there was the usual, hey, how are you kind of thing, asking how the kids are doing. Then he said, haven't you figured out reasons to send me you email so Will can talk on emails if Will are not opportune to talk here? I said, what can you do to further out my business? Referring, of course, to the acorn business we discussed in our previous conversation. He said, well, it's all about understand. Will can help each other if not for your current business, but for any other business which can help in future. Okay, I can take a hint. He's not interested in the acorn business. What other businesses do you specialize in? We are friends and we are here to benefit from each other's ideas. Okay, what ideas do you have? I'm all around. I only injured myself in any business can benefit me, but I specialize in real estate business. I mean, engage myself in any business that is beneficiary. Perfect. So here's what we can do. You get back to me after you've bought a haunted house, and then I'll move out there and do ghost tours for the public. And we can make lots of money off of that. I don't understand you. That's so amazing, lol. Why do you incest by me building a haunted house? I never told you I built a cemetery. Well then, dude, I'm not okay with incest. You mean your only ideal is for me to build a haunted house so you can do ghost tours for the public? 
I said, no, it's not haunted if you build it. You have to find one of those old rundown houses that no one else wants to buy because someone was murdered in it. So how do you think Will can make money from that? I can only build a mansion or a duplex that can be sold and then gain a profit. So if you have a good location where it can be done, you let me know so Will can talk about that. Not building a haunted house, okay? Man, this guy keeps shutting down all my ideas. Can you build a floating mansion on Lake Michigan with a water slide that goes from the top floor outside and into the lake? So far there is no response. We will see if anything comes of this. Well, the guy who I was having strange, sketchy conversations with, his account no longer exists. So this is all that we have to remember him by. So I had asked him if he could build a floating mansion on Lake Michigan. And he said, why most it be on a lake with a water flowing on it? A mansion can be built on a table land, okay? I said, oh, okay. How soon can you start construction? He said, well, I'm planning for a project that will take place soon. He later told me he was going to Dubai. Well, goodbye, David, man. Nice talking to you, I guess.